Hey, this is Scotch Test Dummies coming to you with the Balvini 21 year Portwood. And Norland's whiskey glasses. It's a special kind of glass. Let's test them. Test them. <laughs> Alright, Bruno, so what do we go with? Do we a little bit of what what's the history with this? We got the Norland, we, we got a lot got going boom, on. we got some stuff, we got a clean let's just, slate. Okay, well, let's just first I was gonna wait, but let's just say we got a clean slate. There's no chipmunks. What? There's no Smurfs. Yellow dummies. Let's bring in a book. There's no fat. water bottles with brightly colored freaker what are you talking about? Uh, koozies on them. Boom, distraction. We got us whiskey. And our Norland's glasses. Yes, these are uh, backed on Kickstarter. And the edge of my fancy computer that I keep my notes on, that Bart doesn't. And my fancy computer over here <laughs> that I keep Fits my notes on. Fits in a pocket. On. That's right, it goes in a pocket. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's mention the Norland glass first. Okay. All right, these uh, were on Kickstarter, and the whole one of the issues was that with a Glen Karen, when you go to sip or taste from a Glen Karen, it's great for nosing. When you go to sip, because your nose hits the rim of the glass, it forces you to kind of tip up a little higher. And if you and I are having a conversation, I almost got to break eye contact with you. Whereas with this glass, it's got that same tulip shape inside. You're going to see once we put the liquid in there, it looks gorgeous. But the point is, it's also kind of almost turned inside out on itself. So when you drink, your nose fits inside. It's kind of like a, tum a tumbler glass. It um, feels a little bit like a tumbler. My first, well, okay, so these were on Kickstarter. They raised, I think, way more money than they thought they would get. A lot of people ordered these glasses. Okay, I don't remember what, they're, so, what they got. So, first impression now, I'll tell you, I thought, is that plastic? Yeah, there's two it's, things with it's, it. It's so light. Yes. I had to look it up. It's not plastic. It is not. It is glass, but it's just, it's so light. It almost has a plastic feel to it. Two things to it. It's light, and because they almost turn it inside out so that when you, once we get liquid in here, it looks like the liquid's floating, it's got this kind of hollow sound. Yeah. Whereas yeah. when you've got this Glen Karen, you've got this chunk of glass at the bottom that really weights it mm -hmm. and gives it some heft. And it gives it a nice... Like if we ting. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the, mine. See, I was looking for my Glen Karen earlier and I had set Look. it over there. Mm -hmm. You get that? But when you Sounds kind of come like... in. Yeah. And it's because it's hollow, I think. Yes. So, yeah, it feels really light, but it's better for getting your nose into it. I'll, I'll oh. talk about it a little more in a little bit. There's two things that I really like with it. Okay. One is that your nose goes into the glass when you're drinking. Yeah. So I get more nosing notes just because my nose is in there, or what you don't get with the Glen Karen. And it feels like a rocks glass, which I like. Yeah. I feels, like the feel of a rocks glass. Feels, I prefer that. Yeah, fills your hand out. Well, here's my thing for it, is when you put the liquid in, mm -hmm. it suspends it in what looks like it's That's floating I'll give you some of this. Oh, okay. I just wanted to show it. It it floats it in midair. We'll have to take a picture. All right. Yeah, we'll so do a photo see. real quick so you can see. Yeah. And then it's got these beautiful, like, 30-degree angles where in some of the photos that I've tweeted out, it looks like it's almost standing on, like, its edge or something. Hmm. And, but, here is kind of the negative for this. Because this glass is turned inside out, there's not a great bowl like what you'll get when you're drinking from the Glen the, Karen. A slight one, but yeah, it's not as it's, pronounced it's, as the Glen Karen. It's very slight, and the rim is actually a little fat. Now, it spreads that whiskey out all the way to the vermilion, which is the corner of your mouth, if you didn't know. Spreads it out to the vermilion, but I've, I've had it almost kind of leak before and it hits my mouth a little bit quicker. It's just an adjustment I gotta make. But I don't really like the way the glass feels on my mouth. What I was gonna show real quick too was just, now I've, I've left one unpacked, one of my glasses. Mm. So they came in this really nice black um, case, tubular case, lid pops off. And inside is was the two separately packaged 
uh, Norlands, and there's something at the bottom I didn't know was in there. Oh yeah, that's a that's a uh, shining cloth. Uh, oh, yeah, polished cloth. Yeah, polishing huh. cloth. Well, there you go. Right. So, and I know at one point when they were preparing for shipment and they were kind of doing all of the packaging. Right. They actually halted production and shipment because they didn't like the paper that they was using and the way it yeah, wrapped it was, around it the It was leaving like some residue yeah. in the glass. So they actually redid that, but it was really a nice packaging. In fact, it is the first one when I unwrapped it, mm -hmm. I tried to rewrap it and put it back in there and I couldn't get it. Really? Because it just wasn't wrapped the same as huh. the way they did it. Wow. So there's like highly skilled wrappers. Highly skilled wrappers. It might be old women. Old women that know how to wrap. Like swaddle. All right, there's a fresh virgin mm. New Orleans whiskey glass. Goodness. All right. So that's the Northern glass. Um, let's talk the bottle. Oh, yeah, it's a big cloth. Wow. It's huge. I didn't know that was in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what you get for not going all the way to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. I got to admit, it wow. kind of sat on the bottom, so it cushions that bottom glass, too. Well, you needed that on yours because I, I can see did. fingerprints all over yours. Well, I've been touching it. I've been caressing and holding it and, and using it. All right. So what? tell us about this, this 21 okay. year. It's a special bottle. Well, um, kind of special occasions, occasions Christmas. Say, I haven't had any babies born since I started drinking scotch. But if I had a baby born, I'd buy a, a special bottle. Hmm. Christmases get a special bottle. <clears throat> this I purchased, my dad passed away, uh, May of 2015, mm -hmm. and I bought the Balvini 21 year Portwood. Right. Um, uh, we've done several of the Balvinis. This is still that same bottle and it's, it's waning. I'm gonna have to put this into a smaller bottle hmm. to preserve it. Gotcha. But, so the Balvini, tw it's 21 year. And it's also done a stint in port casks, hence the port wood. Right. If you didn't know that. I did know it. Port wine. I'll put it in there and it gets a little bit of the flavor to it. I've got my notes here. 43% ABV. Now we also, one time, we were curious because we were tasting scotches and whiskeys that had been aged in sherry casks. Mm -hmm. So we went and bought a bottle of sherry. Right. And we tested it. On the show. Well, we were buying scotches aged in port cask, so we went and bought a bottle of port wine. Boom. In fact, is I think it was Churchill's, if I remember right. Great memory. Tested it just to see what is port. Right. We filmed it right over there on what was to become oh, a right. board the, game. The bookcase yeah. that wasn't done. Yeah, the, the virgin wood. Yep. That's been At the same time as the Crown Royal Northern Boom, Harvest. which ended up hitting big. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, <clears throat> with the Norland glass, you are correct. It's a good nose and glass. You can really get your nose in there. I've got cherry nibs. Cherry nibs. Mm. Yep. And I love. And I know what you're talking nibs. about. Yes. Yeah. Sweet cane sugar, dark fruit, with a very subtle, a very subtle way down low dark coffee. Yes. Really. Subtle. Hmm. Way down low at the end. The cherry nibs are on the top. But I get a deep, deep down, uh, the dark fruit and then that dark coffee at the end. Here's a, the, to me, the berries of the port wine hit you right up front. Yeah. Um, this is well done, the port, the port finish on this. And it almost smells more like the wine than it does whiskey. A little bit, yeah. It's definitely there, that cherry kind of flavor, that darkness. A sweet, a sweet citrus nose. It's got a great color to it um, from 21 years of age. Um, I'm pretty sure Balvini does not add any color. Oh, I would hope not. No. But you're right, I don't know firsthand. Um, this is one of those whiskeys that I sat and probably knows this before ever taking a sip for about 20 minutes. And mm. just really just trying to pick out some of those deeper flavors. The cherry nibs hit me right away, and then as I worked it and I nosed it, of course I got the dark fruit, but I kept getting something. That was that deep, deep down dark coffee hint mm. that's there. And this is a beautiful, beautiful scotch to nose. Um, it, it is expensive, we'll get to that in a mm -hmm. bit. But the quality is in there, and, and you can definitely get some very nice subtleties. Uh, there's some forefronts. There's just a lot going on here. 
There might be a little bit of a, like a coffee bean in there, very slight. I hadn't got yeah. that before. Uh, the taste, very rich. It's very full. It's phenomenal. It's a, to me, the port finish on that. This is the best done port finished scotch that I've had. Mm -hmm. um, I think Balvini um, is doing it like nobody else. Phenomenal. Uh, it could be a combination of the 21 years, the sure. excellent Balvini whiskey. My first you know, note. And the port cask. But. My first note on the tasting was light and smooth as silk. Mm. Just, just smooth. Maybe a little bit of that lemon cheesecake is in there. I also have sugared orange zest. I just pick up some of that citrus along with that sweetness, but it's not that overpowering sweetness. It's that subtle cheesecake lemon light cheesecake sweetness just um, beautiful i've got that it, it's so berry like the berries from the port are mm. coming out blueberries a, little bit of a light citrus i got a mango and a tangerine to it um, with the water which i just added it's going to bring out a, a more of a creaminess to it um, some of the vanilla and just makes it really smooth it was smooth to begin with it's really making it smooth. In my notes, I literally wrote down, I'm not adding water to this. It f feels too mm -hmm. delicate. Mm -hmm. And I did not add any water. I've added water now. Delicate. That's a good one. It word. is. It was perfect. Because I have right before, I, again, I just added water. And that'll be the first time I'm going to try this with water. But my last note on here was the aftertaste trails off quick. But I got a little bit of tangerine in that trail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this will be my first time with the water. I literally felt like this is perfection where it is, <laughs> and I did not even <clears throat> add any water. You have to add a drop. You don't have to. I can drink it any way I want. Then Thank you have you. to add a drop. Don't have to. Uh, you are right. Actually, at 43% or right out of the bottle, it is uh, delicious. And that would be, maybe we can ask Balvini, or we can call up David Stewart. You still got his number? You talked to and me like two hours ago. We can say we need this at yeah. barrel set, yeah, cask yeah. strength. Sure. Yeah. He was like, hey, you guys filming it up? We are. <laughs> and he goes, you need anything? Barrel strength. Yeah. yeah. Cask, cask strength. strength and scotch. Boom. Portwood. I told him next time, you, next time you're out in Kansas, right in the middle of the United States, always got a guest room for you. <laughs> okay. We, we don't really talk to him. Just, you know. <laughs> That was, I a wish. Dream. that was a dream I had. I wish we had him on speed dial. Mm -hmm. A lot of people probably don't. Well, speed dial, that's a, actually a term of the past. <laughs> <clears throat> Nobody has speed dial. No, I don't even know people's numbers was, anymore. For all you younger folks, when you used to have telephones at home with the push button deals and like yeah. the answering machine, you could program like 10 numbers in that were speed yeah. dial. Man. So you could pick up the phone and hit two, right. and it would dial whoever you put yep. in. I got to two. put one friend in because all I got, we had four kids and uh -huh. the two uh -huh. adults, so I was allowed one. one speed you got dial. one speed dial. Yeah, so when you made the speed <laughs> dial, that was the person I was calling. Yeah. The parents had the rest, and the, the two younger we, siblings weren't even called. We don't even need speed dialing. It was just, we yeah. tell Siri, yeah. call Dave Stewart. Well, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they say, call yeah, Dave again, Stewart. Again? <laughs> Uh, he has your number blocked. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, harassment complaint has been filed. So, all right, um, with the water, I'm getting, I'm still getting some of that orange, sugared orange zest. Um, I would drink this neat. That's just me. I would not add water to it. Uh, I think you were adding Pepsi. Yes, <laughs> right. Again, you can drink it any way you want, but this is delicate, it's refined, it's delicious, its nose is incredible. I just added almond to my mm. nose, a little nuttiness. Mm. Um, score it. Mm. Ninety-one for me. That's good. Yeah. Ninety-three. Yeah, this is this has got to be. I mean, it's delicious. Um. I, I love my stuff peated, but this is <laughs> top notch. No peat, obviously, here at all. Phenomenal, smooth, light, delicate. Mm -hmm. Great tribute bottle to your father. 
And fact is, I hadn't I hadn't asked you what your impression was of it or what you thought. Mm -hmm. I I had it. I've had my notes. I just got like a really sweet, like a strawberry raspberry almost right there. Yeah. But I had taken my notes. I had my score. I gave it to you. You've had it. I was like, let's shoot it, and I haven't asked you what you thought at all. So I'm moving into a 92. I'm coming. I'm 91's <laughs> out. 92 is in. 91.78. Yes. 92.6. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got is a 93. It, oh. Is it worth it? This what, is a $200 what? bottle. Uh, it depends. I thought it was more than that. I think when I bought this, it was 220 or 230 recent. And I've seen it on sale at 200 to 210, mm. somewhere in there. Yes. Yes, it's worth Yes, it. but I, I would love to be able to buy it every day yeah. or just have a bottle around all the time. That's not the case. But for a special occasion, Two hundred dollars, very well spent. Yes, um, yes. At, at two hundred or even two ten, definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, well, a bottle of uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label is sitting right next to it for two hundred. Which one are you picking up? This. Yeah, this, <laughs> that was too. This is phenomenal. <clears throat> um, this is special. Um, again, I can't buy $200, $300 bottles really all that often. I usually buy one around Christmas. Mm -hmm. I think the last time I bought a $300 bottle, maybe the only time, I think, was the, uh, the um, Brook Lottie Black, Black Arts. Arts. That um, went up. Did you, you know, I just saw that online. It was $395. Well, that is definitely At the same place range. that you bought your bottle from. Wow. Your wow. bottle was $285, $290. Um, well, when I bought my first bottle, it was a straight 300. Yeah. And then I was able, I had a buddy that wanted one, and I was able to find him a price in Denver that, that was a, that was 280. Mm -hmm. um, Same this place, is, 395. Yeah. Holy moly. And I just killed mine. I healed Ooh, slightly. Oh, did you really? Well, it had to go. It was like yeah. 15 months it needed yeah. to go. I mean, but okay, it was okay, quick note there. I've had two bottles. Now, heel slaying, okay, so this bottle is getting close. Once you get down to where there's only a few ounces left in it, they say it starts to degrade. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna tell you, I've had two bottles that had just about a drink left in them that were about two years old, and I decided to kill them off. Mm. They were delicious. Mm -hmm. There's no degradation mm. at all, I thought. Um, they of course, they're stored in a cool yes. place. Right, um, no sunlight. Dark. Yeah. yeah. And so, I don't know what the time frame is there that you're gonna see it, but at, at the two year mark, it, it, it hadn't started, to me it hadn't started degrading at all. My, my Black Arts was like 15 months and uh, maybe a little bit longer and I decided I needs to come upstairs and it was something I figured out where I'm I gonna think, finish it. I think it was okay, you could have kept it. I probably could have, but it was, it was a blessing as I drank it, it was no. delicious. All right, one side story. Well, there's two things I want to reference with your dad. One was the episode with your mom, which was, I uh -huh. think, episode five. I'm not sure. The Glenn Livett 12 year. Yep. All right. His mom came on the show and sat in between us, and it was a great show. Go watch that if you get a chance. But your dad was sitting just off camera, kind of watching the show. Uh huh. And, uh, yeah. And it was funny when we were done, he was laughing, just having a good time. You know, this is the first time your mom had ever tried any whiskey. scotch or yeah. any whiskey at all. And she loved it. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to tune in. She has a, she has a, uh, a great first comment as she sips for the very first time. The second, well, I got a lot of stories with your dad. Your dad got me a bottle of Crag and Moore once and I dropped it in your driveway, yeah. and he was like, I brought that miles and miles safely to you, and you drop it in the driveway. <laughs> and then the last one is I've got this old 64 Thunderbird that's heavy, and it was at the bottom well, of my trying, driveway. Yeah, I was trying to look. We told that story, and I think that was on the Balvini 12-year double wood. It might that be. We told that. Yes. But look, you went back and started the number I did. from the beginning. I numbered you? You one got up through to number 10. 10. Yeah, I decided every once in a while I'd get numbered. Did well, you? I wanted to do it in a group of 10. Oh. I'll just, when I got time, I'll go in and, and try to number some of the old episodes. <laughs> but uh, Scott and I are pushing this Thunderbird up the driveway, and I didn't think the slope was that big, and it's not, but it turns out that car weighs like a ton. Oh, I think it's, well, no, it's more than a ton. Oh, it's heavy. 
And his dad had had a bad hip. It was in August, <laughs> yeah. 110 degrees. It was so outside. hot, you, could, you couldn't really touch the car with your bare hands. Yeah, you had to wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> we would we would uh, get it rocking and roll it about four inches, and then his dad move, would uh, block the tires. Kind of four by four, and he was like, "Well, let me help jumper. push." I'm like, "No, sir, no, sir. Do I do not?" I was afraid I, he would he would hurt himself, and he probably would have. That was a heavy vehicle, so he just blocked the tires. We'd be like, "I'd be yelling out, block it, block, block it!" <laughs> and he would block the tire. It was <laughs> as close to like giving birth as I can imagine. It was uh, painful all the way around. Yeah. For was, those well, women it, watching, it really was not like childbirth that's just an yeah. uh, just the story it reminded me of the uh, i think it was the conan the barbarian with arnold schwarzenegger movie <laughs> in the beginning where he's the little boy and it shows him growing up and he's a slave and they've got him chained to like the water well <laughs> thing and he's just pushing it by himself finally right. everybody else has died off that's what i felt like gotcha that was pretty pushing much that it. car up the driveway yeah he gave me hell for that for years years still gives me hell I took years off his, I hurt my shoulder even, I think, was, oh, my shoulder you? was sore. Not hurt, but it was sore. So that's kind of what I think of. Great stories. Um, yeah, good times, great bottle. You got anything you want to add? I know we're running out of time. <laughs> we're pushing it, but I got to tell you, Whiskey Daddy. Mm. Whiskey Daddy. <laughs> he, he's doing reviews uh, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. He's up to like 30 or 40. He's coming know. along. Yeah. 3,400? Uh, he's like, he's here to pump you up. Yeah, he's a strong fella. Big guy. Strong fella. But we had done the, uh, our 200th review was the... Um, Booker's Rye. Booker's Rye. Right. And he had a bottle. We beat him to it. He's, we're kind of going back and forth with him. He's like, you guys are always beating me to the yeah. punch on... Yeah, we had whiskeys. no idea what he had. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I tell him we're following him around with a black helicopter. Yes, we're spying drones on. and stuff, so we can see what. He but in our two hundredth review, we mentioned we almost reviewed. We this. were going to do the Balvini twenty one year Portwood. So whiskey daddy. Then the next week, he reviews Bam. the Balvini so twenty one year us. Portwood, and he says he was by the pool relaxing, and all of a sudden he thought he heard it like, "Oh, I got to film it I now. I got to go shoot. Film it now. Set Portwood. it up." So a couple weeks ago, Whiskey Daddy got his 21-year Balvini Portwood out. Boom. He's doing yes. a good job. He does good He's notes. He's getting a lot of good notes, a lot of good uh, nose and tasting notes. So, uh, well, and his little avatar up. is this, like, gorgeous girl. Mm. And, uh, and then he said, that's my girlfriend. Yeah. I thought he stole that from, like, some website, oh, like yeah. a model website or something. Uh, He's like, nope, that's my girlfriend. I yeah, like, she's Ooh. with the bottle of Sazerac Rye. Yes, she is. Sazerac Rye. Yep. I say it with a Z. Sazerac. <laughs> We better go. <laughs> All right. Safe word. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Shalanta. Dummies. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>